Welcome back to the garage. For today's project, we're going to be installing this Mods Cargo Box on our EasyGo RXV golf cart. The Mods Cargo Box features a full-length hinge for maximum durability, as well as easy-to-use rubber latches. Mods tailgate design makes it simple to load and secure your cargo. The Mods Cargo Box is available in a heavy-duty option which is built featuring a 1 8th inch aluminum diamond plate construction. The standard version is built with 14 gauge powder coated steel. Let's take a quick look at an installed standard cargo box. These are the tools we'll be using today. The first step in the installation is to go ahead and remove the sweater basket usually located here. As you can see, ours has already been removed. So let's watch Barry work on his golf cart and remove his sweater basket. There are four bolts on the top of the sweater basket that hold it in place. Simply unbolt them and remove the sweater basket. Thanks Barry. Now it's time to put our mounting trees onto the golf cart. We'll be placing them here and here. Now we can go ahead and place the mounting tree over the holes from the sweater basket installation like so. We'll be placing two inch bolts through the top here and here. But before we do that, we need to make sure that the arm right here is facing forward to the cart and over the bolt located here. So we'll have to take this nut out first. Using a 5 8 wrench and socket, go ahead and remove the nut. Now secure the mounting tree by using two bolts, two nuts, and four washers, all of which are included in your kit. With the top of the mounting tree now secured, reinstall the nut you removed earlier. And we're going to repeat the process for the other side. Be sure that you are just hand tightening for now. We'll fully tighten all the nuts and bolts later in the installation. Now it's time to place our down supports into the bag well. So let's go ahead and drill some holes. If your golf cart already has holes drilled in the bag well, you'll need to ensure that they are 3 8 of an inch in diameter. Now that we've drilled our holes, let's go ahead and place our down supports into the bag well. When installing the down support, you want to make sure that the bend of the down support is facing outwards from the cart. Using a bolt, two washers, and a nut, secure the down supports to the bag well. Repeat this process on the other side. Using a drill, we're going to go ahead and just tighten it up a little bit more down underneath the cart so it can support the weight of the box when we place it. Use your 9 16th socket to tighten this bolt. Now with our down supports in place, we can go ahead and place our angle bracket on top of them. You want to make sure that you have the single holes facing upwards and then the three holes facing outwards like so. And then you'll position your down supports over the middle hole of the angle bracket. Place a bolt from your kit through the angle bracket and down support, secure using two washers and a nut. And now we can go ahead and finally put our cargo box onto the supports. But these are pretty big and pretty heavy, so I'm gonna grab a buddy here. We're gonna tackle this together. Using the four small bolts from your kit, secure the cargo box to the angle bracket and mounting trees. Again, using washers and nuts.
Now, let's repeat this process on the other side. Now that the cargo box is on the golf cart, let's go ahead and make sure that everything's good and tightened up. Be sure to check every nut and bolt you've installed during this installation. Check your mounting trees, down supports, angle bracket, and your cargo box. And that completes the installation of our Mods Cargo Box. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Special thanks to our sponsor, Mods, a division of Golf Cart King. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And for all your golf cart parts and accessories, check out DIYGolfCart.com. And make sure to check out our other videos.